Hi guys. We're in the middle of nowhere here. I'm going to do a little walk round of the Rally Felix. I thought I might as well do it while I'm out here. Had the bike now for a few hundred miles and I'll just walk you around it. But first of all, oh dear, look, in the middle of nowhere here. We're heading up that way. That's Leon Sands, I think. Anyway, we're going on this muddy dike in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So, cool. Anyway, let's get straight to it. There's the bike. Um, where do I start? Right, let's start at the controller. Right, there's the controller. Gives you loads of information. You can work it from the buttons here. Information, plus and minus, plus and minus makes sport mode go up and down. I hope you can see that, hang on a minute, because I can't see myself. There we go. Right, so that's on sport mode at the moment. That's on turbo. That's tour mode. That's eco mode, and that's off. You don't want to ride this thing with it off. That's for sure. I've done 4.42 miles so far. Um, press the information button, it's got a clock. Maximum speed 24.9 miles an hour, somehow I've done. Average speed 12 miles an hour. Uh, trip count, no, trip time, sorry. Um, range at the moment on turbo is 35 miles. On sport it's 40 miles. On tour it's 52 miles. On eco it's 93 miles before the battery goes flat. So I'm going to go back up to sport again. Um, then we've got the complete odometer, which I've done 211 miles by the look of it since I've had the bike. Oh, hang on, let's get you in the middle. Uh, there, back to trip mode again. It's got, um, it's got, oh, what do you call it? Hydraulic brakes. Um, as standard. It's called the Felix Rally Plus. Um, oh God. I'm not very good at reviewing these days, am I? I'm better on motorbikes. Anyway, because I don't know a shed load of stuff about it, to be honest, but I did do a lot of research before I bought it. Um, it's got integral lights. Um, oh, you can, um, oh, that's the other thing. You can press the integral lights on by pressing that button uh, and the light symbol comes on. And they are very bright lights, actually. Uh, and the back ones, the back ones, absolutely super as well. Look, that's great. Uh, right, let's turn them off because I don't need them out here in the middle of bloody nowhere. That's the lights off. It's got uh, nine gears. They're all index linked, so they're easily there's going up and down. Um, got a bell. Adjustable handlebars and tapered grips, which are really nice. The battery is a power pack 400, and to be honest, I've not even gone down to three bars yet. And I've done over 25 miles, and it's, I mean, as you can see, there's plenty of miles left on it. It's got um, Kevlar tyres, 600C anodized stainless steel spokes. In fact, um, what I like about this bike is. Um, pretty much all of it, you know, like the aluminium rack, aluminium frame, stainless steel spokes, anodized aluminium rims, uh, plastic full chain guard on it. Um, it. It's all good stuff. It's not going to rust very easy. Um, Shimano bits on it, you know, like the hubs and everything, the disc brakes. Um, it's got um, adjustable front suspension. You can actually, um, what's the name? Turn it off or turn it on. Uh, what else? What else? Full mud guards on it, so you're not going to get soaking wet in the rain. Um, oh, it's got a lock here. You take, turn that key. Where are I? Where am I? I don't know what video in here. I'm such a womp. Um, it's got a key there and you can lock the wheel so no one nicks the bike. Um, you can take the, you put the key in there and that walks away 
um, so you can put the um, the battery in the house and charge up or you can charge it up here under this plastic thing if I can just lever it off there we go so you can charge it up there if you wish so you've got two options so you can take the battery off keep it in your house which is what I do which is a lot better uh, than keeping it in a cold garage at this time of the year what else I can't think what else oh yeah hang on the only other thing that I've done is I've invested in a if I can push it down no I can't but that's a hydroelastic uh, seat stem that's made a massive difference as far as I'm concerned because we've got front suspension but we've got no back suspension so I've now done that uh, the gel seat is very comfortable I mean literally 25 miles and doesn't even hurt me rear end at all so that's really cool um, oh the other thing is yeah people say I mean that's a girl's bike well no it isn't a girl's bike it's what they call a unisex bike these days and quite frankly you know I'm not getting any younger do you want to want to cock my bloody leg over a, a hand a crossbar for what reason the only reason why we only had a crossbar in those days is to carry your mate on it all my mates have got bikes of their own now so I don't need to carry a mate right so you know step through lovely and easy you know give me that any day who wants to catch my bleep olex on the crossbar anymore when yeah exactly so anyway there you go i've just fitted this because it was a motorbike uh one that i used to carry in the back seat my motorbike for touring oh hang on uh we also got um we got that which is um obviously a side stand Oh, we've got quick release wheels as well, front and back, quick release, uh, and quick release again, look, as you can see, I think I've covered everything. Um, yeah, I think I have. If you've got any questions about the Rally Felix Plus that you want to ask me, feel free to ask me, and don't forget to subscribe, and... Um, yeah, there you go. I've got to get going because I'm getting cold now. Brr. Anyway, I'll catch you later, chaps. Bye for now. We have got some strange houses around here, which I'm going to show you. There's a funny one over there on stilts, look. Um, yeah, funny little place. Let's uh, zoom in on that place. Yeah, weird looking, strange. Right, anyway, anyway, I forgot to mention uh, on the bike that it's got sort of Kevlar type touring tyres on it, but unfortunately, um, just still get punches on it and whatever. So I put some slime in it, and um, that stuff is brilliant. I've got it on both my other bikes, and uh, I got a punch it the other day, pulled the nail out and it stops making a air pressure noise after about five seconds so it's sorted so it's, i've probably had about a dozen punches already in it but it doesn't go down so i don't have to carry all that shit with me like spare tubes and all those bloody tools and crap so that's a lot easier for me anyway so uh, i'm gonna pop down that little road there and go down there and have a little look around catch you in a minute well guys i've just stopped here for a minute because i've got to show you this interesting house can you see it <laughs> I know. Anyway, look at that. Oh my god. Should we go and have a closer look? Yeah, why not? Well, you can't say that Eric Busa doesn't show you some weird things sometimes. There you go, look at that. That's got to be one of the strangest houses you've seen. Anyway, I hope you like my videos, guys. So, yeah, it's been a great ride, actually. Must do that one again.
Anyway, I stopped off here at this boatyard and I'm having a banana, would you believe? But as soon as I've eaten this, I've got two bars of chocolate to munch on. <laughs> no competition whatsoever. So I've got to get this down me. So I'll catch you guys later. I've got to get this down. Bye.